Hey, if you've only got a moment, the TLDR is that I am not dead and intend on continuing to make content. I wanted to talk a little bit about what's been going on, what I've been up to, what's been upgraded, um, and what the future looks like. Um, several times I have tried to make the prediction that I will begin making content at a feverish pace, and every single time something comes up. Uh, the most recent thing being that we now have a new baby, so yay! The other part of this, though, is that our kids are back in school in person, so that will free up a bit of time, but I'm still not back at the studio, so I'm working out of home. I did indeed finish my downstairs recording area. I've used it a couple of times, and as time went on, I've added more and more upgrades to it, but there has been one crippling flaw that was always present pretty much no matter what I did. That sound is really hard to take out in post and degrades the audio significantly. So my go-to move had been to simply turn it off. However, this. This is what it looks like here more months out of the year than it doesn't. So turning it off is not always an option. So for when I can't turn that off, I made a little studio here, which is what you're seeing now. It's actually kind of nice. Um, I can do more streaming from here and develop other kinds of content. Speaking of which, I have in fact gone into some other types of content creation, both using Blender and doing other things, a little bit of video game design here and there, um, but mostly tasks that were helping other people out with their projects rather than starting a new project of my own. That being said, I do have content that I do wish to make for the Taylor series, but that kind of brings me to my next point. Perfection is the enemy of progress. I have spent so much time perfecting a whole bunch of stuff, and the standards to which I hold my videos are so high that in fact I have made several videos and only published a couple. Uh, the ones that I didn't publish didn't meet standards for various reasons. Um, oftentimes they were experimental, and I kind of knew that it might not work out, and as it turns out, they didn't. So I'm kind of coming at this from a slightly different angle. Um, I'm going to be tuning my standards down just a bit. I'm not saying I'm going to just publish Garbo, but at the same time, I can't keep holding myself to the same kind of standards I had when I was working at the studio. And who knows, maybe I'll make some shortcuts and find some things that look better and work more easily, and maybe I'll call that my style. Either way, I am hopeful for what the future holds, and we'll see. But until then, adieu.